this is Cami, and today we're going to be making some pancakes. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things. Remember, if you have hair, make sure you tie it up. And then hands washed. Also, if you have any washes, jewelry, make sure to take those off. Um, so how we're gonna do this is I like to separate my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients personally, but you don't have to do that. You can just use one bowl, it's fine. Um, we are going to start off with one cup flour, two tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon salt, two teaspoons baking powder, one egg, one cup of milk, two teaspoons vegetable oil. Um, so I'm first going to mix my flour, my sugar, baking powder, my salt, and I'm just going to give them a quick whisk so that way they're all mixed up. Again, you don't have to do that. And then I'm going to take my milk, I'm going to crack an egg, I'm going to take my vegetable oil. Now you are going to need a little bit more vegetable oil when you're actually making your pancakes to sort of lube up your pan. So I'm going to take my whisk. I'm going to whisk my wet ingredients together. All right, and then once they're mixed up, make sure that yolk is broken. And then I'm just going to dump it in with my flour and sugar, baking powder, salt. Mix it all together. You're going to get a nice, thick batter. You want to make sure to get most of the lumps out as best as you can. All right, and then once you've got it smoothed out, remove your whisk. All right, now two things you're going to need, spatula, to make sure you can flip your pancakes. And then I like to use a half cup uh, measure and I like my pancakes a little smaller because that way they're easier to flip. But if you like a big pancake, go for it. You could probably use a one cup or just eyeball it. This seems like something that needs an adult. I'm an adult. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and preheat the pan a little bit. We're gonna put this on medium heat. There we go. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil personally, but you can use anything. You can use butter, um, you can use um, canola oil, whatever you want, whatever you have around. It is important for pancakes to make sure they don't stick. Make sure you give a pretty generous amount. So once your pan is preheated, and you can tell um, if your oil moves around really freely or your melted butter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pancake batter, and like I said, I'm going to make smaller ones, so I'm using a half cup measure. And whoop, I'm just going to pour that into the pan. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to let it sit a little bit, and you can tell when pancakes are ready to be flipped because there should be some little bubbles forming around the outside, and that's when you know it's about time to flip. So make sure you give it some time. All right, now you see how this is getting really bubbly on the outside, and you can see it getting sort of firm. So we know this is about a good time to flip. See this nice golden brown? It's kind of what we're looking for. And if you like your pancakes a little bit darker, you can always flip it back over and let it go a little bit longer. That's gonna be a really fluffy pancake. All right, I think our pancake is ready. I'm gonna give it one flip just to make sure. So that way you can see. Look at that beautiful bottom. Got a nice brown. I'll let the other side just take a second and then. Okay. 
now, we have one beautiful pancake. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these. Um, you should, with the half cup, get about three or four pancakes. And again, you can make them as big as small as you want. This is a, this is a nice medium-sized pancake. You could just go ahead and fill up the pan if you want a really big pancake. Um, or you can make them really small, kind of like silver dollar pancakes. Alright, enjoy! Alright guys, here is the finished product. Four beautiful pancakes. You can use anything you want to top these. I'm going to use some syrup, but you can always use jam. If you want to make a glaze with some powdered sugar and water or milk, you can do that as well. And bon appetit guys! <laughs>